So in this video, let's talk about the mechanism of making acid chorus from carboxylic acids, you know? So if I take, you know, something such as acetic acid, okay, this is a simple carboxylic acid and I add this compound, I add SOCl2, this is actually called thionyl chloride, thionyl chloride. If I take carboxylic acid and I add thionyl chloride, I'll actually get the, the acid chloride. So I'll get the acid chloride plus SO2 plus HCl. So these are the, the three products that I will get. Now, how does this happen? Well, we're going to go through the mechanisms. But first, I just want to show you something interesting. Carboxylic acids in solution actually exist as dimers. And so they will actually form hydrogen bonding. And so in solution, acetic acid will actually look something like this. Yeah, so carboxylic acids actually exist as dimers in solution. And you can see these hydrogen bonds, but that's just something I wanted to point out. So let's go through the mechanism of how this thing works. So acetic acid looks something like this, okay? Now, SO thionyl chloride, it actually has an oxygen double bonded to a sulfur with two chlorine atoms. Okay, so what's going to be your nucleophile? With all these in solution, lone pairs on oxygen is actually a tap the sulfur atom and displace the chlorine. Okay, but once that happens, we, we form something that looks like this. We have an oxygen that has a hydrogen, but it also bonded to the sulfur that's double bonded to an oxygen and one chlorine atom. That gives my oxygen automatically a plus one formal charge. Now in the second step, these the oxygen will actually move in the form of uh, the bond will actually break and the lone pairs will actually go on the 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 oxygen okay and that will give our molecule something neutral so we come to uh, something that looks like this okay so we, we come to a solution that looks like this now we just kicked off h plus in solution so with that being said we have h plus in solution Okay, so now that we have come to a solution like this, remember we kicked off Cl minus in solution earlier. So this is our first chlorine that we kicked off. It will actually come in and attack the carbonyl oxygen and form a double bond there. In the same time, displacing the chlorine. Okay, so all that happens in one step, we have this now that's now bonded to a chlorine plus SO2. And SO2 looks something like this. Plus, remember we had H plus in solution and Cl minus. So that's where we get our HCl from. 